All right, guys, so today we have another video on understanding sound in Tarkov. Today we've got a little bit of sound discipline that a team did not take into account while running through woods. And we also are going to show you a few clips of us understanding how to figure out where players are with the broken sound in Tarkov. It's been like this for years, guys. And using that tactically to take advantage of the situation. Keep in mind, guys, if you're holding W and you're running through maps and you're not aware of what's going on around you and you're not taking momentary pauses to listen for sounds, you will get caught off guard and you will die to a player with a better skill set than you. And it doesn't matter how good your aim is. It doesn't matter how many times you call that person who's waiting for you to run around a corner a rat. You did the wrong move and they did the right one. They played better than you and you can't fault them for your stupidity, right? So hopefully you guys learn something from this video. We'll see you guys in raid. So right here, we're hearing movement behind us. As well as we're gonna start hearing movement from a scav directly to our front where we were originally looking. We're hearing running, which is not scav movement. This is a player running. The scav is going down the escalator, I believe, at this point. And we're just waiting. This player only heard us shooting. He doesn't have any idea where we are, right? <laughs> we're taking our time. And we're letting the player make the mistakes because we don't have to. We're only here for scavs. Scavs heading back up the escalator. The scav is engaging said player. You hear him walking. He ADSs. He's jumping. It's wood. That's a desk. He's going up to an old sniping spot that people used to use. You're going to see exactly where that is. You can do this on both sides. This is something a lot of uh, veteran players know. We just heard him shoot. We know he has a suppressed weapon. Easy as that. And that is what understanding sound in Tarkov does for you guys. Heard him jump up. You heard him on metal. Super easy kill. Now in Tarkov, guys, when you're moving through wide open areas, it's best to move from cover to concealment, cover to concealment. Don't just run through until you're out of stamina. Or you'll end up like these guys. They're hitting every bush. They're running out of endurance. They're basically killing themselves. They have zero noise discipline. And that's why we're able to move through the bush. And they can't even tell we're here. The amount of noise they made allowed me to be able to freely move in my concealment to kill them. Hopefully this helps some of you guys. And we got two kills. 
for our swift one. Let's go. Awesome. All right. So as we were leaving, we started to hear some walking and or running behind us. So then we set up for an ambush. Because it's kind of dumb to run out and try to exfil from Emmercon when you know someone's behind you. It just logically makes sense to wait for the kill. Now, as he starts to move closer, we'll find out that he's actually on the other side of the wall. Originally, we thought he was inside the same warehouse as us. Now, one thing to keep in mind, guys, when you're slow walking, which he's also slow walking, you can hear other people slow walking. ADS is very loud as well. Us standing up here and ADSing 100% gave us away. This guy is a good player. He understands we're here, which is why he's prepping with his lasers. You're going to hear him jumping, and this is him baiting us or trying to. As he's jumping, he's trying to make us push him. GG's. Now as we open this door, we're going to start hearing movement on wood. We're hearing doors opening, etc, etc. So we're going to go ahead and set up an ambush. You don't have to push these guys because it sounds like they're heading our way anyway. If they were to run off in the distance, then we would probably finish looting and would have left. One thing to note, you hear that bush sound? That's sound that's made to everyone. So whenever you hear someone pushing to the left like that, then you know for a fact they are up there. So we're hearing him on glass. This means he's running away. So we know that we can basically loot his buddy's gear for free. We're slow walking just in case another party of players is showing up. You never want to pretend like you're alone. All right, guys, if you made it this far in the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And, uh, you know, don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about this content. Now, this is, uh, me basically going over how I perceive the world around me in Tarkov as I'm playing, right? And also trying to give you insight on my thoughts and how to better myself in this game, right? I review my clips in these videos because it helps me relearn and enhance and better my gameplay for the future. So I'm not a W key warrior. I am 100% a person that only has to kill people if they come in my vicinity unless it's required for quests, right? Don't push people. Don't do anything unnecessary unless I have to. I play this game like I want to survive, much like I would in real life. Some people view that as a negative thing in Tarkov, as though you're a rat. But, you know, there's no such thing as a rat 
in a survival game, right? Because if you look at any other genre of game in the survival genres, nobody runs around like an idiot in those games, right? Look at DayZ. Do you see people running like idiots 24-7? They don't. 